Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. I am Manish Agrawal and in this session of atomic structure we will be studying Rutherford's atomic model. So as we have already seen the Rutherford's experiment involving alpha particle scattering on gold foils, we saw the conclusions and the observations of Rutherford. Based on those observations, he devised a model for atom atomic structure which is often called as solar system model because it somewhat looks similar to a solar system okay so it has a central part okay it has a central part of positive charge as you can see here all right this the one which i am marking in red right now and then there are electrons which are negatively charged revolving around this nucleus just like our planets revolve around the sun all right so another way of representing the same model is this all right so this red color is the nucleus containing positively charged protons and around this nucleus revolve are electrons which are negatively charged all right so what were the postulates of rutherford's model first the atom of an element consists of a small positively charged center all right so he said that any structure of atom will involve a positively charged center all right okay and this center he called it nucleus all right he named the center of the atom as nucleus a terminology which we still follow in modern times apart from that he also said that most of the mass of the atom is concentrated inside this nucleus so not only the positive charge is concentrated in the nucleus but most of its mass in fact almost all of its mass that is the atomic mass of the atom is mostly attributed to the presence of nucleus the center part of the atom and not to the electrons revolving around it okay then he also said that electrons are distributed in the empty space around the nucleus in concentric circle so just like we saw that sun here will be the nucleus and electrons will be the planets which revolve in the empty space around the sun or the nucleus in this case okay further he also said that the number of electrons in orbit is equal to the number of positive charge okay this is essentially to keep the atom neutral that total positive charge inside the nucleus will also be equal to the number of electrons which revolve around the nucleus and volume of nucleus is very small as compared to the volume of the atom now this is a very important point okay in fact okay if the volume of atom is say like a football field okay you might have seen a football field with two goal post so this is the volume of a football field let's say then when you keep an apple over this football field we can say that the apple is the nucleus and the complete football field is your atom so that is how small the volume of nucleus is in comparison to that of an atom okay and obviously this means that most of the atom will be empty space and nothing else okay so even the solid objects that we see around us contain atoms okay they are simply made up of different atoms and all these atoms have most of their spaces as empty an atom is obviously electrically neutral okay so these postulates are something that we that now take them to be granted okay so we know that these are all true okay so let's analyze a bit the rutherford's model okay so he said that the center of any atom okay if i want to draw the atomic structure i will draw a center part which is going to be very heavy and very small which means it will be a high density region so the center will be of high density right and since this center is positively charged and we know that atom is overall electrically neutral so i must have some negative particles also inside the atom and we also know from cathode ray experiment that these negative particles are electrons okay so electrons will revolve around this central part all right so electron will simply revolve in concentric circles or just like the orbits okay the orbits of a solar system or ellipsoid 
ओके दे आर इन फॉर्म ऑफ एलिप्स बट हियर ही सेट दैट द ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी सर्क्यूलर कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल ओके सो दिस मीन्स ही वॉज एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द न्यूट्रलिटी ऑफ एटम विच इज क्वाइट गुड विच इज क्वाइट एन अचीवमेंट एक्चुअली ऑल राइट एंड ओके ही वॉज ऑल्सो एबल टू जस्टिफाई द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ हिज एक्सपेरिमेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस सो वी नो दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस दिस हाई डेंसिटी पार्ट इज पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एंड दीज आर नेगेटिव पार्टिकल्स प्रॉब्लम वॉज टू शो द अरेजमेंट ऑफ दीज नेगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल्स ओके बिकॉज ही सेट एट ऑल ऑफ द पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इयर सो वी डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट राइट नाउ बट इफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड दिस पॉजिटिव चार्ज दे कैन रिवॉल्व इन वेरियस डिफरेंट पैटर्न्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑल दी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लेट से एन आइटम हैज टेन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो ऑल दीज टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन रिवॉल्व अराउंड इन सेम ऑर्बिट और ईच ऑफ देम कैन ऑक्यूपाई अ सिंगल इंडिविजुअल ऑर्बिट और लेट से द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट माइट हैव टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द नेक्स्ट ऑर्बिट माइट हैव से एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड सो ऑन ओके सो दिस वॉज अ लिटिल प्रॉब्लमेटिक बिकॉज रूथर फोर कुड नॉट एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन द अरेजमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके लेटर ऑन आफ्टर ही सजेस्टेड इज एटोमिक मॉडल ही डिड ट्राई टू गिव सम अरेजमेंट बेस्ड ऑन जोमेट्री एंड मैथमेटिक्स ओके बट दे डेंट होल्ड ऑन फॉर टू लॉन्ग स्पेशली फॉर एलिमेंट्स विथ हायर एटोमिक नंबर्स और राइट सो दैट वॉज वन ऑफ द ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ रूथर फोर्ट्स मॉडल द अदर वॉज हाउ विल द इलेक्ट्रॉन रिमेन हियर ओके बिकॉज दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव पार्ट चार्ज सेंटर ओके एंड दीज आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स so this positive and negative particles can attract each other that is to say the electron can get attracted and collide with the positively charged nucleus okay and which means our atom cannot be stable our atom will collapse because the electron has collided with the nucleus in fact such collision might even result in explosions all right so that is why what he said was this electrons won't be stationary if they are stationary obviously electrostatic attraction will force them to collide with each other so he said that electrons will continuously revolve in a circular motion around the nucleus and we know that a moving particle okay a particle in circular motion can still have a force exerting on it called centripetal force so electrostatic attraction provides the centripetal force whereas electron keeps of revolving say at a velocity v around the nucleus so this is why he said that electron cannot be stationary but problem was this electron which revolves is a negatively charged particle revolving in a positive electric field okay now this is something you might not understand right now okay because this is uh, maxwell's electromagnetic theory which you haven't studied and which you won't be studying for a long time all right so let me tell you that whenever you have say a positive electric field and an oppositely charged particle say a negative charge revolving or moving okay with an acceleration in that ele positive electric field then that negative particle will continuously lose energy in form of radiations due to that acceleration okay? and if it keeps on losing its acceleration it will keep on okay the orbits will keep on shrinking and again the atom must collapse so again even the movement of electrons was problematic okay because it has to lose energy okay whenever you have oppositely charged electric field and another particle which is oppositely charged to the electric field the particle will always lose energy when accelerated in that electric field all right so these was two major problems with rutherford's model okay but apart from this his model was the first definitive estimation of how an atom might look okay so and uh, we also got an estimation of how big the atom can be in comparison to the nucleus in fact in terms of number if you look at the nucleus the radius assuming that nucleus is spherical okay rutherford said that nucleus will be spherical so its radius usually correspond to 10 to the power minus 15 meters that is around of the order of 1 fermi meter okay that is the size of nucleus whereas the radius of an atom again assuming atom to be 
spherical he said that okay we also know right now that this is true that radius of an atom correspond to around 10 to the power minus 10 meter that is of the order of 1 angstrom or even in nanometers so an atom is 10000 times bigger than the nucleus of the same atom okay so the, that is the size difference between atom and its nucleus so you can see that most of the atom is always an empty space okay but this doesn't mean that since it is empty space we can simply pass through that all right this doesn't this doesn't mean that all your solid objects are made up of atoms which have a lot of empty space so you can simply pass through the walls or solid objects okay there are other problems and issues with that all right so let's conclude rutherford's model and let's look at some of its drawbacks so we can come up with a better atomic model so it was not in conformation with maxwell's electromagnetic theory as we saw okay because the electron must lose energy and the orbits will shrink slowly in fact they will shrink so fast that it matters of less than second okay say 10 to the power minus 8 second electron and nucleus will collide and collapse okay and obviously electron cannot be stationary due to electrostatic forces hence he couldn't explain the stability of atom as per the classical mechanics okay so see physics has two different aspects or two different say classifications you can say one is classical mechanics okay as mostly postulated by newton and other is quantum mechanics which we used to study subatomic particles and atomic particles okay and which we will study later on in atomic structure all right so until then only classical mechanic mechanics was known to man okay we didn't know about quantum mechanics so they tried to explain rutherford's model using classical mechanics but it failed all right apart from that he could not explain the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus okay like i said he used geometry for example for an element with three electrons okay with atomic number of three he said that the electrons might be present at the vertices of an equilateral triangle okay and they will keep on revolving with equal speed so that the triangle is maintained at all times with nucleus at the center Similarly, for four electrons, for two electrons, he was able to explain a little bit. For two electrons, it, they will simply be present at diametrically opposite points. Okay, both the electrons revolving at diametrically opposite points around the nucleus. But obviously, for greater number of electrons, he could not come. Okay, and he could not explain the line spectrum of hydrogen atom. Now, what is line spectrum? That we'll study. Okay, in the same chapter later on. But for now. If, if you know what line spectrum is then you know that every electron when jumps orbits from higher orbit to lower orbit okay it emits energy and it emits energy means it emits radiations and which we can say imprint on a photographic plate for instance and this is called line spectrum of hydrogen atom okay and this was something that we could observe even then and Rutherford's atomic model was unable to explain this line spectrum okay but still his atomic model is quite important and you must remember because it formed the first basis towards a sustainable model of atom sustainable in the sense that something that we can say that okay yeah it's not all true but it's at least a start okay so in the next class we'll uh, finally study some other topics and then we'll come up with a new atomic model of bohr niels bohr model all right so until then take care and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos